On this episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, we're going to make roasted Brussels sprouts with Parmesan. They're really tasty and a bit guilt-free. Here are the ingredients. Brussels sprouts. I have Parmesan, salt, pepper, and olive oil. Super easy ingredients. Let's get started cleaning these Brussels sprouts. I'm not gonna do the whole bag. I think I'll maybe do three quarters of the bag. And what you wanna do is cut off that brown end. See that brown end there? You wanna cut that off. And if there are any yellow leaves, you wanna remove those as well. So we're gonna cut that and then we're gonna cut it in half, just like that. And I guess we'll just put it in a strainer because we're gonna rinse those. And we'll do this to the rest of these. It's gonna take a little while, so I'll speed it up. Wonder if you can do two at a time. Oh. Oh, that one really came apart. Oh, it's a little tiny one. I think I'll just leave that one whole. Let's try two two at a time again. Be careful when you do this. That works. It'll save a little bit of time. Anything to save time. Well, almost anything, I guess. I also wonder, you know, you can kind of see the rib of the leaf. I wonder if you're supposed to cut it on the rib or cut it on a, you know, non-rib. I guess if you cut it on the rib, there's a little mark and you could be consistent. I don't think it really matters though. All right, let's continue cutting. The little ones, I think I'm gonna leave whole. If you have any of these big stems from the outside, don't include those. I think those would be really hard to eat. It's a little one. Back of the knife. You don't want to dull your blade. Oh, look, you see that? That's part of the stem. You don't want that in your dish. Be careful because they get a little wonky sometimes. You don't want to cut yourself. This one will be a little one. It's all right if you get leaves in there, single leaves, because they turn really crispy and they're good too. Some of these outer leaves are a little dry and not very attractive. So take the very outer leaves off, the ones that fall when you cut it, and then the rest of them are fine. I suppose if you don't mind the ones that are not so attractive, you know, with little holes and such, kind of like, like this one. I mean, that will, that will cook to a crisp. So I think if you're serving to special guests, definitely take off the outer leaves. But if it's just you and close friends or family, 
I think that um, those leaves are just fine to cook. Waste not, want not, as they say. I think that was Benjamin Franklin who said that. I'll have to look it up and see. I don't know if that's correct. Ooh, this one is not looking so good. Some of them, if they look really gnarly, you might want to omit those. I'll hold that one aside. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, there's a little one. All right, let's check this one out. Maybe it's just the outer leaves are not so good. I wonder if it's either dirt. I hope it's dirt because the only other thing it could be is mold, but I don't know. I've only started eating fresh Brussels sprouts recently, like in the last two years. My mom, yeah, I'm not gonna do that one. My mom would always just use the frozen Brussels sprouts, or uh, yeah, I think they were frozen. and. You know, they just don't have the same taste with fresh. Fresh Brussels sprouts are really good. And if you don't like Brussels sprouts, try this recipe anyway, because you may like it with fresh roasted Brussels sprouts. There is a difference between what you get in the freezer and what you get fresh, especially in this case. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse these. I have them in a strainer here. So I'm just gonna give them a quick rinse. And I'm going to get rid of these. I forgot to get a towel. Because you want these to be nice and dry. So we're going to dry these off. Just a little. They don't have to be completely dry. But we're going to drizzle this with olive oil and oil and water don't mix very well so you want them to be a bit dry probably the best thing to do is to wash them and let them sit out for a while so they air dry i'm not going to do that though right now but if i had thought about it i would have done that Okay, I think that's good enough. So now we're gonna stick them in a bowl. So we have them here in a bowl. We're gonna drizzle them with about three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm just going to guess. And I love the taste of olive oil, so I might even put a little bit more. So I'm just gonna drizzle Okay, that's probably about four tablespoons. Then you want to season with salt and pepper just to taste. And now we're gonna toss. So I have a pan here. I'm just going to pour the Brussels sprouts on there and just spread them out. I think I want to put them to start bottom down or cut side down. And when you cook them in your 400 degree oven, I forgot to mention that, 400 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes, but you want to shake the pan every now and then. So I'm going to put the timer on for about every maybe 10-15 minutes and I'll just give it a big shake. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'm going to stick them in the oven now and I'll put the timer on for about 15 minutes. 
So now I'm going to clean this mess up and we'll grate some cheese. While those Brussels sprouts are cooking, let's grate the cheese. Saran wrap. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I want it finely grated or if I want it to be more like shaved. Let's compare. Oh, I think that's way yeah. too big. There's that versus that. I think we'll do um, finely grated. I think that'll be better. And you just want this to be, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup half a cup, something like that. And I'm just going to stick that in a bowl because we're going to put this on the Brussels sprouts when they come out of the oven. So we'll cover that for a little while. Get this wrapped up. There's our Parmesan for later. I'm going to clean this up and we'll come back for a shake in a little bit. Ten more minutes. We're just waiting for the Brussels sprouts to go through their first bit of cooking and then we're going to shake it up and then we'll cook it a little bit more. But when I went to that theater and had those Brussels sprouts, oh my gosh, they were so good. I could have ordered two helpings. They were so good. A little bit of salt, really warm. It was just a real comfort food. Mmm, really good. I'm looking forward to this taste test. Okay, so we'll wait just a few more minutes. Seven more minutes. And then we'll give it a shake. The Brussels sprouts are just about ready. There it is. Oh, sizzling hot. See that? So I'm just going to toss them. Lost a couple leaves there. It's okay. But this is what you want. See if I can show you. See that browning on there? Make sure they're all on a single layer. Oh, hot. 
one of the leaves fell away. I'm going to taste it. Mmm. Very good. You know what? I think garlic would have been good on here too, but I'm not going to put any garlic on right now. Maybe the next time I make it. Ten more minutes and then we'll check again. But you want to make sure that they're good and tender on the inside. I think that will be about, let's see, if we did 15 minutes the first time, 10 minutes now, that's 25, and then we'll go maybe another 10 minutes after we give it a good shake. I am going to check those Brussels sprouts because it's smelling a little bit like they're burning. I don't want them to be burned. Everybody's oven is a little bit different, so be careful with that. If you start smelling that they're burning, pull it out. Oops, I lost one. Oh, that might be a good one to taste. Okay, they're feeling a bit tender. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to drizzle a little bit more olive oil on. Maybe it just needs a little more of that coating to keep them from getting burned. Or maybe I should roast it at 375 instead of 400 for my oven. I'm going to pull one of these big ones off. Let's see here. I'm going to pull one off. We're going to test one. But I'm going to put these back in the oven just to keep cooking until we test that. Okay, we'll go another five minutes maybe. So, let's test it. That part's good. Okay. They're really hot though. Mmm. The little leaves are very tasty. I just want to make sure it's tender on the inside. So as soon as it's cool, We'll have a taste. Okay. I'm going to bite into this one and see if it's tender on the inside. It smells really good. Mmm. It's done. So mine really only took about 25 minutes. I think next time I'll probably lower the temp and go longer. So maybe 375 for 30 minutes. So now that they're done, I'm going to sprinkle them with Parmesan. So I'll grab some and just sprinkle and toss. And I would say just do it to taste. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Try to make it so that that cheese is kind of mixed around. You don't want to end up with a big glop of cheese. For just a little added aesthetics, we'll just sprinkle with it some Parmesan on top. Just a little bit.
That's probably good. Doesn't that look good? Mmm. Trust me, it's really good. And that's Parmesan. Smells so good on there. Absolutely delicious. But you can see the grease. Well, it's not grease. It's olive oil. This will probably require a fork or at least napkins, which I forgot again. I think I would use a little tiny server for this. Let's just have a little taste. That's how I would serve it with one of these. I got this at Home Goods. I actually got six of them. I thought it'd be nice to have one per dish, so I bought a bunch of them. All right, let's have a little taste. I want to make sure there's some cheese in there. See a little bit of cheese on that? How does that look like? How does that look for a bite? You can smell the Parmesan and the olive oil. Perfect. Definitely don't overdo the salt because the Parmesan has salt. So I was really light on salt. Keep that in mind. But it's really tender and delicious. There's a leaf. Even the little leaves are good. Mmm. Some would call this rabbit food. It sure is tasty. And vegetarian. I suppose if you wanted, you could use, let's see here, for vegan. No cheese, right? No animal products. Just don't put cheese on it. And that could be a good vegan dish too. Do you see the browning on that? It's very good. Mm-hmm. It's warm really tasty. You can taste the olive oil and the Parmesan, a little salty, and then of course the pepper in there definitely needs pepper. If you wanted to spice it up, you might sprinkle some red pepper flakes in there. That might be good too for just a little heat. But I think this is absolutely delicious. I could eat this as a meal, but it's a really great snack. I hope you give it a try. If you do, let me know if you like it. Between now and the next episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, may all your picks be keepers.